Welcome to the Ecutech Race ROM webinar. This section deals specifically with the Evo 10, the Colt CZT, the Mazda MPS and the Nissan 370Z. Uh, Mitsubishi Evo 10. So we drag and drop the ROM. We can see the ROM file is open. We squash him up so it's easier for you guys to see it on your screens. And then um, usual method, um, <clears throat> uh, race ROM feature file. So we apply the race ROM feature file on the Evo 10. So we can see here um, the only map that's been added is diagnostic trouble codes. So a DTC delete on Evo 10 um, can only be done if you apply a race ROM feature file. Applying the race ROM feature file will also uh, provide you with um, a reasonable amount of, of ROM security protection from people copying your work. Um, other features might only be available with the race ROM um, with the race ROM feature file applied. Things like the stability control warning that can be induced during um, uh, overboost conditions and uh, the pain in the butt. Trustful checks, which um, which can cripple the vehicle. Um, if they're not calibrated right, you can turn them off in the software, and features like this are only available through Race ROM. Um, DTC editor, straightforward, uh, just turn the DTC on and off. And we don't list the exact DTC, what it is, um, technical for technical reasons, really, more than anything else. We're not trying to be unhelpful, um, but the DTC is all listed in your help file. So if you're not sure what a DTC is, just open the uh, PDF DTC list and you'll see that we've listed them all out. Um, so Evo 10 um, custom data logging. So quite important on, on Evos um, that we add the race one feature file in to pick up important logging parameters like charge air temperature, engine load, and uh, the standard engine load won't go over 120%, so we need to log custom parameter, custom Ecutech one, and boost pressure because the standard boost the flat line at 120 kPa. Um, so it's important to see these custom parameters, drag the patch on, save it, flash it in the ECU, then you'll be able to log these parameters. You won't be able to log them without doing that. Um, no more um, race run maps for um, Evo 10. It simplistically boils down to DTC maps at this time. We do get asked um, quite a lot when you're going to do map switching, when are you going to do speed density, when are you going to do launch control you know for Evo 10 and for Mazda MPS similar story we can only do so much in one go it takes between three to six months to develop race ROM feature files for a particular model vehicle um, GTR has been ongoing development STI was our first one BRZ has been developed over the over a year basically we <clears throat> We want to give you as many race from feature files as we can with as much functionality. It sets us above the competition, but equally we've got to make sure that it's uh, financially viable for us to develop it and what sort of competition obviously we have in the market. And um, you know, if we're going to spend three to six months that you're going to be able to charge premium and then earn that money and do the volume of cars um, to recoup that investment. Um, so these are considerations that we have. We've got the framework in place now for Race ROM, which is really good. That's why we're able to put Race ROM feature file patches onto uh, a variety of different cars now. We can put it on Evo 10. We can put it on Colt CZT, Mazda MPS, Mazda MX-5. Um, the framework's there. We can do things much more quickly. And we've got a really good team of talented guys now who can, um, who can do this work, do it accurately and quickly. So um, we don't, we're not saying, no, we're not going to do Race ROM feature files for Evo 10, but it's not decided exactly what we're going to do at this time. Our current focus is on um, on GTR, it's on um, 370Z, which is a new product as well. And from here to move forward, we you know we will make decisions um, as we need to, what we're going to be working on next. So um, that's Evo 10. ROM security again. Applying the patch will give you your security. It will give you custom parameters, and it's going to give you the DTC. Um, DTC features as well. Okay, we don't want to save those changes. Up from um, uh, basically Colt CZT for European customers is the same as Evo 10. Um, it doesn't work on the JDM um, CZT, often called Rally Art, which is available in 
Asia, Japan, and Australia. Um, so final one um, we'll come to here is the Mazda MPS, um, Mazda Speed in the US, um, global market um, in Japan it's called a Atenza, I think it is. Um, race one feature file again, apply the race one feature file, drag drop, it shows it's it's been applied, race one feature file, diagnostic DTC trouble codes have been added, custom data logging has been added. I think the race one feature file on the Mazda Speed makes changes in the background so we can log certain things um, that are not available from the factory ECU. So we also used it during development, um, some nasty engine load limiters on the um, Mazda Speed, Mazda MPS and the custom data logging was really important for us to sort out the, the boost control with the Mazdas uh, and the load limiters basically. So again under the race one patch here, um, DTC list again, DTCs, uh, no, no description of the DTCs but simply go to the help files and uh, hoping we can include the list in, in the future. Um, so um, simply there, Mazda MPS incorporates CX-7, Mazda 6, um, and um, um, it's in another, oh yeah, Mazda 8. Um, the applying the patch will also provide you security as well with the Mazdas on the Gen 1 cars. Uh, not Gen 2s at this time because um, technical reasons, let's say, <laughs> is a simple answer. Okay, so um, if we just go back a second, one other one I want to cross or come across is um, so going through my list here is um, is uh, Mazda MPS also can incorporate MX-5 at this time. Colt CZT similar to Evo, Evo 10 is the Nissan Duke. So the Nissan Duke. Um, haven't prepared a file for today, but Nissan Duke has some of the functionality of GTR in particular, which is really important and sets us apart from competitors, um, is the custom data logging. You know, this stuff is really important so you can tune the car and know where it is. Factory ECU doesn't even show knock retard. So the Nissan Duke race run features, we do have race run boost control for Nissan Duke, so you can adjust the boost control and there's a um, a driver uh, boost gauge that, that will be driven indicating the current boost pressure that the customer is driving for. Um, the Nissan Duke also has the ROM security important to check to protect your work. Um, it has things like the air fuel ratio conversion as you can see on the screen. This particular GTR ROM, but all pretty much all these parameters are available on the Duke and are imperative for accurate um, calibration and without them, God knows how you would tune these cars. Um, the 370Z is also, again, I prepared a file for today. It's a new release product. Um, we've got big hopes for the 370Z, and uh, we're going to do some really cool stuff with it. So um, um, get yourself ready now for, for these customers. Um, the 370Z, like the GTR, custom parameter login. Um, it's got race ROM ignition map, so you can see real values, and you will get what you put in the map. And... Um, and not advanced timing and not get any more advanced, you will get the advance that you put in basically. So yeah, 370Z can be looked at in similar eyes with um, GTI and we're going to build the features off the back of that product at the moment. 